Why is it that I can remember how Brittany Johnson made fun of my stutter on my first day of sixth grade better than I can remember my own wedding day? Or how even to this day, I can hear the laughter from my eighth grade English class every time that I'm asked to read something out loud? Or how every time that I go to shake a stranger's hand and my tongue strangles out the words, he he hello, my name is Michael. My throat tenses up and my mind begins to race and even though I know the words to say, they stand on the tip of my tongue like a child frozen on a diving board too afraid to jump off. As I push those words out of my closed throat, every syllable has bounced back and forth a dozen times in my mind before they finally decide to jump off. That is why I have more unspoken words than you will ever speak in your lifetime. My stutter is like the torn ACL of a 55-year-old ex-high school football phenom. If only I didn't have this injury, I would have made it to the pros. They would have put me on billboards. I would have won every state championship. Except for my impediment isn't an injury of my past as I reminisce on memories that I will never get back. My stutter is still fully alive and will announce itself in the most inconvenient times. So while my scars are something that you cannot see, I still feel them. But, but I refuse to be afraid of, of the stutter and I will reveal them because my scars are proof that God can heal the deepest wounds. They serve as reminders of all of the painful struggles that I have been through and the new life in its place that continues to bloom. That is why my greeting to you isn't casual. It has been tirelessly rehearsed th throughout bedroom mirrors, throughout my adolescent years. Every time that I introduce myself to someone new, I crawl through a battlefield of old scars and tears of conquered fears to deliver you a story of redemption. What well, you hear as a record skipping, I hear as perfection. No, I'm not trying to pause for dramatic effect. My brain is just trying to tell my tongue to trust itself because the water is safe. It's time to jump off and show that you're brave. My wounds have, my wounds have scarred over. Yes, their initial mark remains, but they now stand as a picture of triumph through pain. These scars are now me and I won't hide them in shame. I will hold them up high as a symbol of change. What was old is made new. Put these scars on, put these scars on, on display. What was weakness now strengthens. I won't dwell in self-hate because my scars tell the story of a voice led by faith. Yes, my scars tell the story of a voice led by faith. So I will be brave. This little stuttering boy will be brave. Yes, I will be brave. Boom. <laughs>